Hello, welcome to this channel called Gypsy Girl's World. I am Gypsy Girl. This channel is going to be a DIY vlog cooking channel. All that stuff is going to be on here. Um, it'll just be about my life and my family and just stuff we do in any way. So this first video I wanted to do because our garden is producing a lot of squash right now. I have way too much squash. Some of it is really big um, and I don't want to waste it, but there's only so much sauteed squash you can eat. And my kids don't really like squash casserole. So what I decided to do was find something that I can make a lot of, which soup is always a good choice for that. So I decided to do soup because I can freeze it and my husband takes soup with him to work when he works. So I can feed it to him. We can add chicken to it or sausage, you know. And I decided to make soup with a squash is because when you chop up squash or grate it and try to freeze it, then when you thaw it back out, it's really watery and I did not like how it came out. I did try to freeze it one time years ago and I never did it again because I didn't like it. So I'm gonna try it this way and see how it goes. Um, anyway, in the end, we'll at least have some soup to eat. And so I hope you enjoy this video. And if you wanna see me make squash soup, Please keep watching. So I have a whole head of garlic that I peeled, three Vidalia onions. I like to use the sweet Vidalia onions. I'm going to cut up the onions, just roughly chop them. And I'm going to do the same to the garlic. I'm going to rough chop the garlic. I like kind of bigger pieces of garlic in my soup. I think there's a lot of nutrition in vegetables like these when they're not like totally pulverized plus it's a little less spicy if you don't cut it up like super fine so now I'm going to do the squash and the zucchini and the squash like I said was big and from the garden so I did go ahead and seed the squash because I don't like the big seeds that they get when they get kind of a little bit too big as long as the skin felt like it's supposed to not super hard then I used the squash, otherwise I just discarded it. I actually gave it to my daughter's friend who has a horse, and the horse ate it. So this is the zucchini that is a normal size, so I didn't take the seeds out of that. So, But anything you get at the store is going to be perfectly fine. Just cut it up. So now I'm going to cut these wonderful tomatoes that we got out of our garden. They are called Cherokee Purple and I just cut like the hard spots out and the cores and I'm just going to dice these and um, I'm going to leave the green tops in the diced tomatoes because they're kind of it's kind of normal that they don't get completely red all the way and I think the green parts are still really good so I'm putting all that that's about three cups of tomatoes so next I'm going to clean my board And then I'm going to chop my basil up. So I'm going to treat this basil basically like spinach. So I'm just going to stack it and just kind of cut it into slivers. And that's it. I'm not going to chop it any more than that. And that's about a cup to two cups of basil. I had a lot of basil though. So um, now I'm going to get my chicken stock out of the cabinet. So it's two things of chicken stock. One's bone broth and one's just regular. And then I also have three eggs and a cup of parmesan cheese mixed so i've got three tablespoons of oil my onions and garlic my squash i'm going to put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper and you'll want to sweat your onions and garlic first before you put your squash in then i put about an eighth of a teaspoon of thyme my tomatoes and my basil and I'm just going to let that cook maybe about 5 or 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put the st um, stock in. And then I'm going to let that cook for maybe like another 10 minutes until everything is nice and soft. Take your soup off the burner, let it cool down a little bit, and then add your egg and Parmesan mixture. And then you want to taste it and see if it needs any more salt. Like I said, if you don't want this much soup, or maybe I didn't say it yet, but if you don't want this much soup, you would just half 
the amounts that I used or quarter them depending on how much you want. Okay, we're all done. Yay, and it came out really good. And I blended up uh, about three little batches of it and added it back in just to give it like a nice smooth and chunky consistency. And so now I'm gonna taste it and I'm not gonna eat any pasta because I'm doing keto right now, but you can add pasta to it. You could saute some sausage and add it to it. You could boil a chicken and add some chicken or rotisserie chicken to it or just saute up some chicken or you know, pretty much anything you like, um, you can add there to it. So let's have a taste. Mmm. Locatelli cheese makes it taste really good. So if you can get Locatelli cheese, get that. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm hungry. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye.